Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and today we're looking at the Corsair Link 4.0 software update to their fan and component control suite. And all this CES 2016 coverage is brought to you by iBuyPower's Revolt 2 small form factor gaming PC. Looking at the new Corsair Link 4.0 utility, up until now Link has been generally of sort of questionable stability or resource consumption as have most of these software utilities including CAM and other options out there, Logitech, and all, everyone's got their own tool for managing system components. And the Link tool is used specifically for managing i-suffixed products like the H100i, HXi, Power Supply, and similar devices. And now Link 4.0 has an entirely new code base, so system resource consumption is reportedly effectively negligible. This is something we'll validate independently once we're back from CES. But that is what we're told now. The user interface is completely redesigned and much more user friendly. You can go through the interface and first of all, crashing, if any of you had crashing issues, is largely resolved on Link 4.0. But as you tab through the interface, you'll be able to see the specific temperature levels depicted visually on a case. So you can actually change the case image of what's represented in Corsair Link. If you change the image, you can drag and drop the CPU temperature onto the CPU location, GPU the temperature, GPU location, and so forth. You can also create custom fan curves for all the PWM enabled fans, anything connected to either the motherboard or a Corsair i-series product is controllable through this software. So that's a quick look at Link 4.0. We've got an article on the web already. You can hit that in the description below for more information. And again, once we get back, we'll validate, test, and do a proper write-up of the full utility. It will become available in January, so that's this month, obviously, for owners of relevant products who want to play around with it, or if you just want to do general PW, PWM fan control type stuff. So that is coming out soon. Right now it's in beta or alpha. And thank you for watching. If you want to check out more coverage like this, hit that link for the channel down below or check our Patreon page for more support options. And I'll see you all next time.